channel. For those of you who do not know, my name is Jasmine Barton Moore. I'm a self-published author and of course soon to be mommy. Let's talk about the book stuff first. Well, first of all, uh, hello. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers. As read by the title, this is a quick book update slash 1920 week pregnancy update. So starting with the book update, pretty much I've already submitted it to editor, a professional editor, and I should be getting that back probably by the end of tonight. And I'm so excited for that because that book is set to come out in July. So if you don't know, I will put the cover here, here, just so that you can see what it looks like, what to look forward to, and of course you can always buy my other books which is always listed down below. So now let's move on to the 1920 week update, which I did film the 19 week, but I did not like how I looked in it, and I was like, I am not uploading this, so hopefully when I'm editing this, I look decent, or I'm not uploading this either. Struggles be real, son. Okay. So I guess if we're gonna rewind, um, for week 19, Cravings of the Week was Jolly Ranchers. Got them right here by the big bag. Also, I was craving sandwiches, of course the mocha frat from McDonald's, water, and sneakers. Symptoms I had was back irritation, really bad breakouts, hot mess, and vaginal leakage, which is pretty much normal. What's new? Well, can't talk about that yet. Baby update. Um, busy. Um, when I did the anatomy test, he had fluid in the right lung. Just in case you didn't see the, the gender reveal, I'll make sure to link it either up here or down below. So make sure you check it out. Of course, you already know it's a boy, but just in case you wanted to just go and watch it. Um, he's also face down, which he's like really close to my cervix, which is so freaking painful. And then of course for um, week 20, it was the same as week 19. And then as far as this week goes for week 21, um, I've been craving spaghetti and meatballs. I've had spaghetti and shrimp. I haven't had spaghetti and meatballs yet, but I'm still waiting on it. Um, symptoms, swollen feet, swollen hands. My hands have been so numb that it's painful when I'm laying down that I just learned that to avoid so much numbness, I'll go to sleep with my face <laughs> balled up like this and then throughout the night I have to open, close, and open, close, and so I don't even feel like I'm really getting a good night's sleep because the numbness literally wakes me up. It's like the worst thing I've ever felt before. And then, of course, baby update on May 27, 2018, I saw my stomach move for the first time, so baby's really active in there. And um, I'm trying to talk really quick through this because what's new for baby, like things that I've brought, I have a lot of stuff over here, y'all, so I'm trying to hurry up so the video's not long so I can get through it. So I guess first, starting off with me, like I said, my feet are very swollen, like, I'm looking at them now and I'm just like, like I don't understand. So I've gone up a whole shoe size. So I got these pair of flip flops from Skechers that I absolutely love and I just love Skechers. I got the pair of flats, but those are actually in the car. So these are a pair of flip flops from Skechers and they have that nice support that you need. Um, I have gone up in a whole shoe size, so I'm originally a size eight, but with my swollen feet, I've gone up to a nine. So yes, comfortable, comfortable. Skechers is the way. And then also, um, I was up in DC this past weekend visiting my in-laws and I picked up these little cute shoes from Comfort One. And the thing that I love, Comfort One is on the more expensive side. Sorry if my glasses are blurring what you guys you can't see me, but Comfort One is more on the expensive side. But the thing that I love about them is because when you go into their store to purchase shoes, you stand on like one of those foot things and pretty much it does where your pressure points are and all that, how where you're, if you're walking on your heel or your toes, all that lovely stuff. And then they go and help you recommend some good shoes. And I, I also have a pair of heels by them that I got for Christmas 
but I also purchased their inserts which are amazing like especially when you're walking all day long like these shoes I mean these inserts are like and I just love these shoes because they're really cute and stylish you'll probably see me wearing these in some photos on Instagram Facebook you know whatever the jazz hold on it might shake oh it didn't shake okay let's see starting with some of the older stuff is the diaper bag and I just absolutely love this diaper bag I will make sure to put inserts here too also so you can actually get the full look but of course everything that I'm talking about today is pretty much from Amazon when it comes to baby boy so it has zipper here it has the side pockets and what I really love is it has the safety back thing where you keep like your wallet or your keys in there and then it has the stroller straps that are on here and then also let's open it up I put some stuff in here because it was a lot of loose stuff that I had so let me just go ahead and take it on out um doo -doo -doo -doo. it also comes with a changing table changing table changing pad and then I'm gonna insert the insert so you can see what it looks like but it's just so freaking deep and it has where you can put how many three insulated baby bottles in there it has section for diapers wipes and I just love how it's open and I don't have to go through a million zippers to find what I'm looking for and it's a gender neutral one too at that so I really love that. Let's see. My bed about to be a hot mess in a moment. Um, I also purchased some of, let's see. It's like these little pacifier clips and it came as a set where you can put it on the onesie even though I really don't know if I'm gonna be using pacifiers like that just because I wasn't raised on pacifiers, but of course I picked up the little handkerchief, <laughs> handkerchief bib. So this is like one of the designs here, and then of course you have this design, and then you have this one, and then you have this one, and it's like cotton. It's really soft on this side, and then let's see. This is also, this came with it too. It's like a pacifier container holder. And then, um, I picked up some baby bottles here. And it got, and it has the Zoo Friends theme on there. So I really like that because I'm into animals and he's gonna love animals too. Uh, do -do -do. I guess let's move on to some of the clothes. If you already seen the gender reveal, which of course will be linked down below, these are all the clothes that's in that one. So I'm not even gonna re-mention them. I'll just go show you like that really quickly. But you can watch that video if you wanna see those clothes. And then I also picked up um, these little onesies here. So you have that one, and have this one. Turn it around. I don't know why they do things like that. You have this one, and you have that one, and you have that one, and then the end. Okay. What else do I have in here? Um, I think I showed this one already, but I'm not too sure. It's just this one. And it's really cute it says hello I'm new here and this is the outfit that I want to bring him home in and when I got this outfit it was actually a gender neutral one so it came with a little hair tie or a little beanie so now that it's a boy I know who I need this so that outfit and then of course let's see um Two separate outfits. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
And this outfit I love because this is like Justin's favorite pattern. So you got these little cute shorts. Well, they're not shorts, but they're pants. You know what I mean? And then you have this cute onesie that goes with it that says Daddy's Little Man. And then you have the little beanie, which is such an adorable outfit. If I do say so myself, and I do say so. Okay. And this one I love too. It's just these nice blue pants with this nice pullover sweater. It's so cute. And then if you saw earlier in one of my other book books, my other videos about reading to baby i don't know what the gender was but i just started reading last night and of course it's junie b jones i just thought i should reiterate that i have some other children books but i really want to get through these series first just because i'm i could be interested in it while i'm reading to baby boy and then now oh wait hold on <laughs> before we get to that box um, I also co contacted, I also picked up some nipple shields and the reason why I picked these up is because um, these are for like flat or inverted nipples so that it's easier for the baby to latch on but then also because since I had a breast reduction too I really want to breastfeed so I don't know how my body's going to work and stuff like that so I picked these up just as some backup. And I brought like one pack of pacifiers just in case. I don't know if I'm gonna use these or not, but if I don't, I have them. If I do, I still have them. And now on to the free stuff. So if you register on Amazon, they give you free stuff. Like you have to um, do your baby registry, complete all the steps and they'll let you know. But Amazon just, I feel like, this is an amazing, oh, you're about to see. So first starting off with this, once you purchase something on your own registry, depending on the time when you're having a baby or whatever, you get to pick a free gift and add it to your cart. So I got the teething scarf and I love scarves. So it's pretty much a scarf and it has a teething ring for baby on there. So when you're holding baby, you can the baby can like suck on it, chew on it, and stuff like that. And it's good for soothing. It's very stylish. Like even if she doesn't have the baby, as you can see, it still looks really good as a scarf. So this is 100% free. You didn't have to pay for anything. And then also this is the box. That oh, let me see. This is the box that they sent me, and as you can see, it says it's their welcome box by Amazon. And you can see here, baby registry by Amazon. And I don't know if they only sent me one box or how that works. I would have to go and check on my Amazon, but I thought this was really good stuff in here. So starting with, they sent me. Huh, let me get some organization going on over here, y'all. Okay. This is about to be a hot mess. So starting with, I got an amazing baby muslin swaddle. So it's zebra. And of course, like I said, everything that is going to be like probably animal themed. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo, they sent me, I, I don't know how you say this, Avid, Avid bottle they also sent me another pack of pacifiers they sent me this cute little onesie with ducks on it they sent me some um, nipple pads just in case any leakage you know you can put these on at night time for the mommies out there they sent me two packs so that was amazing um, they sent me some of their little 
They sent me a Vina lotion. What is this? Burt's Bee shampoo and wash. And then they also sent, I don't even know how you pronounce it, but another lotion. <laughs> and then they sent me some Huggy White. Because I had Huggies on there. So what they do is they take, I believe they look at your registry to see what you have on there and then they send you like, welcome. And then this one is a Moon and Back Organic Cotton Short Sleeve Bodysuit, three to six months. And this is has elephants on it and everything pretty much on my baby registry is like some type of animal themed or elephant. And it's just so freaking adorable because I love elephants. They're like a sign of good luck. Like I really, I just, I love elephants. One day I'm gonna ride an elephant. I just want you to see that. And then of course, they sent me like this cute little hamper thing on the go. And pretty much what's inside is some more coupons by Pampers. And then it's like one Pamper diaper. And then we have some Pamper wipes in here. And then we also have breastfeeding guide right here if you decide to use um, Avent, a Avent, whatever that bottle I showed you. And it has like the aquaphor for you to try out and more coupons. And that's pretty much everything um, that I've gotten so far. So of course, I've mentioned this plenty of times before, but like always, the question is, why are you buying your own stuff? And pretty much everything on my registry that's left over is like some of the bigger items, um, such as like cribs and uh, blackout curtains and the swings and all that bigger item stuff. So when I have my baby shower, I'm only pretty much asking for gift cards. And then if they want the link to my registry, I'm more than willing to give it to them. But things that I like as far as like clothes go and things that I know that I'm gonna be very specific on, that's the reason why I'm buying it. Because I'm like, if someone buys me something then, and I know I'm not gonna use it. Like I'd rather have people get me stuff if they want to that I know that I I'm going to use versus people going out buying me clothes or going out buying me diapers that I'm not going to use because like I said before I'm using the seventh generation diapers and wipes so it's all about that like I don't want to waste anybody's money time effort all of that jazz stuff like that but I feel like I've been talking for so long but it was so much because this is like literally like three weeks into one video because I was not looking right. So I really hope that I look good in this because I will delete it. But anywho, like always, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and sticking with me through this lovely journal, journal journey. Um, don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you are notified and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Make sure to check that description box because people always ask. And remember, stay beautiful and deuces.